At CCAC, you can count on a quality education with a lot less debt. Did you know you can also break a leg? Strike a chord? Take things to the big screen? Find new perspectives or shape your future. CCAC's Arts and Humanities programs can help you prepare for a career that brings your creativity to life. Get creative. Get started at ccac.edu slash arts. Explore a world of music on WQED. Explore sweater sessions on WQED. Explore educational opportunities. Explore science. Explore early childhood learning. Explore Nebby on WQED. Explore the power of the arts. Explore Pittsburgh Eats. Explore diversity on WQED. Yeah. Pittsburgh sports yeah. fans. They are the fuel that drives yeah. our teams to success. Every Saturday, J.P. Roofing Fan Nation celebrates Pittsburgh's fans. Your food, your fan caves, even your tattoos. Whatever it is that makes you a 412 fanatic. To be a part of the show, email us or go to the website. J.P. Roofing Fan Nation. Oh, I know my favorite show. I know you know your favorite show. I'm Daisy. And I'm Frizzy. And while we wait for the big show to begin, let us show y'all why y'all support Stilltown. There is something very rare happening in the Hill District. Play. Decent. And action. Demetrius Wren is producing the first community-based film in the heart of the Hill District. I was able to go on set to talk to the cast and crew, some of which have a very long history of Stilltown and the Youth and Media program. It's been like early mornings, late nights and stuff, but it's like a wonderful experience because everyone's just like getting to know each other. Once I got on set, you know, um, it was all big to me. Like I, I imagined myself being on, a, on set before, but once I got on it, it was like big cameras. Everyone knew what they were doing. It was like super professional. Rehabilitation of the Hill is the title of this feature film. It started off as a film that I was writing just about gentrification and people trying to go back into their neighborhood and change and what that means, talking about people on the ground versus people who are coming in with the love story. But as I started to get to know more about Pittsburgh, when I decided to set it here, I was introduced to some nonprofits, different people lived here, we interviewed people, and then that started to shape the script and it really became a kind of art imitates life, imitates art type of film. I also teach at the University of Pittsburgh. It was interesting, when they came across the film, they said, hey, we should do this as a teaching film. So I wanted to do workshops here in the Hill District about people interested in film. And I thought maybe 10 people would show up. I mean, we had 60 people show up. So first of all, this idea of like where artists live, I mean, obviously the Hill District is known for its arts, but it's still alive. It's still very much here. You got people all ages who want to be actors, behind the camera, directors, editors. It's a unique process that we're making this film under. And so with all of the training positions, all the learning that's happening on set, it's been amazing. And people have really just risen to the challenge of trying new things. And it's an 18 day shoot. We're shooting a feature pretty quickly. A lot of features that shoot quickly shoot in like one location or maybe two and keep it really tight. This is a big cast, big crew, tons of locations. The Hill District has opened its arms wide to us. People have just made us feel really at home and adding so much texture and so much life to the movie to really have it filming here. Haji is a teaching artist at Stilltown and has taught film at schools all around Pittsburgh. What you may not know is that Haji is a Somalian refugee. Haji came to America when he was 13 and attended Taylor Alderdice High School. He then became an intern at Stilltown and eventually a teaching artist. Demetrius, he wanted to do something, you know, for the people who might not get a, you know, an easy chance to, to the film industry. I got a call, you know, when Denzel came here to do that film. I was supposed to be an AC for that, but because I didn't have enough, uh, you know, feature films in my resume, I didn't get a chance to do that. Right off the bat, you know, when I came here, I wanted to be different. We were in a refugee camp. 
for like 13 years. Coming to this country meant, you know, opportunity. I wanted to do something that my great, 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 great grandfather didn't get to do. It's just the, the environment that I grew up, you know. I would have never like get, get on behind the wheel and drive. Or I've never seen a television station or a TV, period. The opportunities are very limited and I need to make the right decisions at the right time. And I don't have to be something that I'm not. Like, I just have, I just have to be me. Sounds good. Last time, last time, everybody wants. Okay, we got a cut. My goodness, it's not like I'm on drugs. It's just a vape. Jackson Alexander, those things are full of nicotine and all other chemicals that- A very warm welcome to our live studio audience and this week's contestants. We're going to dive right in with a warm up round to get things started. See if you can guess what it is from these advertising slogans. Switch to our product for your throat's sake. It's been scientifically proven to be far less irritating to the nose and throat. In a nationwide survey, more doctors use our product. Are you ready for the next level in virtual reality tech? I guess. I just put on the headset? That's right. And we'll start with a simple demo. We call this one Perfect Partner. Wow, you look amazing, Brianna. Uh, do I know you? I should hope so. We've been dating for about a month, and I have to say, you are the smartest, hottest, most fascinating woman I've ever met. The Infinity 4000 comes with a timeline compare function. It can pinpoint the exact moment when your timelines start to diverge. Okay. Hey Brie, I just got this new cinnamon apple pod. Do you want to try it? You know I don't vape, Leah. But it tastes awesome. <laughs> You're such a dork. You're still coming over tonight, right? I have a bunch of other flavors if you want to try those. Yeah, I'm still coming. Okay, cool. See you then. Wait a minute. That's supposed to make some huge difference in my life? Let's move on to our next scene, Brain Drain. <laughs> Hello there! If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, it's because I'm a brain. That's right, approximately 3.2 pounds of gray matter with a hundred billion neurons! The major organ of the central nervous system. Let's move on to our final scene, Mistbuster! Thanks for helping me with this report, Courtney. There's so much conflicting information out there. Is vaping safe? Here we go. Hey y'all, it's Cody, back for another episode of All Things Vape. That's all for today, folks. I'm Guy Garrison wishing you and yours a vapeless tomorrow. Tune in next week for another exciting round of The Choice.
So for those of you uh, here for the Crew Connect, welcome to Mulaney's Harp and Fill here in the Strip District. Uh, on behalf of Steel Town as well as Carnegie Screenwriters, uh, we'd like to thank all of you for coming this evening. I'm trying to pitch a web series project dealing with the uh, post office. Me being a uh, recently retired worker of the post office for 26 years, I have all these stories and I basically need some writers, some comedy writers to make it more sophisticated. My name is Anthony Manella. I'm an aspiring post-production editor. So if you need any editing help, just send it to me. I promise you I can turn it into a masterpiece. Looking for a writer, so if you're a writer, please contact me, Brandon Bop. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Uh, email me at randonbop at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. I have a project that I need help with. I'm currently getting together all the pieces of stuff, and I could really use some screenwriters so I could talk to to make sure I'm on the right path. Some actors, anything that you guys can do would help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for your time. CCAC, you can count on a quality education with a lot less debt. Did you know you can also break a leg? Strike a chord? Take things to the big screen? Find new perspectives? Or shape your future? CCAC's Arts and Humanities programs can help you prepare for a career that brings your creativity to life. Get creative! Get started at ccac.edu slash arts. Explore a world of music on WQED. Explore sweater sessions on WQED. Explore educational opportunities. Explore science. Explore early childhood learning. Explore Nebby on WQED. Explore the power of the arts. Explore Pittsburgh Eats. Explore diversity on WQED. that drives our teams to success. Every Saturday, J.P. Roofing Fan Nation celebrates Pittsburgh's fans. Your food, your fan caves, even your tattoos. Whatever it is that makes you a 412 fanatic. To be a part of the show, email us or go to the website. J.P. Roofing Fan Nation. Oh, I know my favorite show. I know you know your favorite show.
power. I'm here to sign my daughter up for water polo. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like all of the spots are filled this No, that's, that's ridiculous. I want to speak to your manager right now. Does this look familiar? A customer challenging your confidence and threatening your employment? Well, you're not alone. And we're here to help you navigate these treacherous territories so you can preserve your dignity and your job. Now let's take a look at these de-escalation strategies. One, offer a solution. Right now. I'm sorry, my manager is in a meeting. Perhaps we could sign them up for a new seasonal sport. Tell us about the fishing team. There's a bunch of spots open. How about extreme frisbee? Lacrosse? That's fine. Number two, reclaim the narrative. Right now. No need to call the manager. I can explain. See, part of our policy, number 1172, Section B, paragraph three, which was instated in 1997, states that the president's second wife was now part of an honorary council. You know what? Actually, I have somewhere I need to be. All right, ma'am, you have a wonderful day. Number three, create a diversion. Right now. Well, ma'am, before we call my manager, there are some programs that your child might be, you know, interested in, but let me ask, you know, are they kind of advanced for their age? Would you consider them kind of an intelligent kid? Would they maybe be, you know, athletically mature beyond their years? Yeah, I guess you're right. It wouldn't be fair to the other children. Maybe next season. As you can see, Applying any of these de-escalation strategies can brighten the workplace experience and improve the customer journey. Paid for by UWAC, Union Workers Against Karens. For more information, call 1-877-LBR-UNION. That's 1-877-LBR-UNION. The Real Teens Pittsburgh is made possible by our generous sponsors to value and trust a new generation of talent and to showcase the best of Pittsburgh. Thank you. It's Doria, Pittsburgh's fifth most hardcore Xena enthusiast. And I'm Violet, everyone's favorite bisexual crybaby. As young queer filmmakers, we're making an effort to connect with our community and explore our understanding of how the local drag scene functions. The Blue Moon Bar on Butler Street is an iconic hub for the Pittsburgh LGBTQ community, including the local drag scene. Everyone knows the Blue Moon by now. If not, then that's kind of your problem. We invite you to sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and enjoy the show. We're just a little neighborhood gay bar, and to hear professional drag queens say that they idolized this bar, that's where they started their careers at, and it makes me feel good to know that we as a community have helped them with their careers. 
We're just very fortunate we have a large group of amazing, talented people working at this bar and coming into this bar. Anybody's welcome here right. to feel safe in a safe place. When you're Miss Blue Moon, it's sort of something that's really treasured now. Yeah. And that means you have talent, that means you've come far. What's your relationship like with the Blue Moon, if any? Oh my god, it's like family. 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 We're always giving each other advice. We house each other. Artists are artists. If you have a bad day, people paint. If I have a bad day, I perform. I just put on a course and a pair of heels and I'm out the door. I love being on stage. You're able to connect with so many people. For me, it's about the crowd. If I walk on that stage and I have their attention, and then if I leave that stage and still have that attention and they're happy, then I've done my job. Drag is an art form and is a way of expression, sometimes out of struggle and necessity for queer people to express themselves and be who they are. Before I did drag, I was a very quiet person, soft-spoken. I didn't really know what I felt about things, but I didn't really care enough to explore how I felt about things. As I started doing drag, I started being able to have a voice for myself, to stand up for myself, and to stand up for other people. I know Pittsburgh's kind of known for having a community of performers that cover the whole spectrum of drag. Now we have a lot of cisgendered women doing drag, and that's awesome. We have a lot of non-binary performers. Drag in general is usually a man dressed as a woman, but I was like, why can't I dress like a woman? I'm okay with being called a drag queen. I'm also okay with being called a mess. It's weird, I would say Brandon is Brandon has become a fully realized person through me being Bambi. Bambi is Brandon with an exclamation point. Like, it's just me at 110. You really learn a lot about yourself by dressing up like somebody else, weirdly enough. I think in the beginning, they were like separate entities, like Ty and Moody, that like, oh, like tonight I'm Moody. Like, she's gonna walk like this. But now I'm walking like this in the daytime too. If I'm feeling like a girl one day, then I'm just gonna say, screw it, I'm gonna be a girl today. And no one can tell me anything because you're, you're not me. Another reason to visit the Blue Moon is their lunch menu. <laughs> Only available on Mondays. Now, it's a common misconception that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's lunch. Visit Pittsburgh's favorite award-winning bartendress and lunch lady, Mildred the Lunch Lady. You hungry, Violet? Starved. Oh, I remember when I was a young lunch lady. <laughs> you kids are so young. Ugh. How do you seize the community? My little LGBLT babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I myself am an LGBLT baby. I really started to get interested in drag queens when I went to my first Pride a couple years ago and I just, you know, saw them all performing and being themselves and I just really admired that and that's how I fit in. I'm not a drag queen myself, but I'm part of the community, so. Ditto. <laughs> All right, now most important question I could be asking you kids. Uh, what is your favorite lunch? My favorite lunch is the lunch you make, Mildred. Oh, honey, add a glass of milk to that and serve it up. Hey, I love you kids. Thanks for coming into the Blue Moon. Aww, we love you, you, Mildred. Mildred. Oh. Most people think of drag queens in like seedy dark bars, facilitating you know the sales of alcohol and rallying people up. But you know, we also leave the nightlife and step into the daylight. And I feel like the new era of drag is you know sharing it with our communities and you know the new generation. I see drag at award shows. I see more drag at the Met Gala. I see more drag out at the forefront because I think people are finally realizing that. It's not just a flash in the pan and what it actually is and how much joy it brings people. I think drag is gonna kind of form into maybe more of like a performance thing and less of a gender thing because it's, it's like kind of normal now. Drag is always changing, but what I hope changes more is society and ideas of gender roles. And I think that an important message with drag is to continue to be political and stand your political ground and want equality and want, you know, everything that everybody else gets in the world.
Drag is an expansive, grown culture, and there's much more to this art form than we can explore in one short documentary. The Blue Moon Bar on Butler Street provides a safe space for the LGBTQ community, welcoming everyone as family. Ugh, this movie was wonderful. I watched the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I had to take a couple potty breaks, but... That was fine. Oh, look at all this. All the small little words going by here on the screen. I can't read that, honey. Oh, that's going too fast for me. I got glaucoma, honey. Uh, what's that say? Bill Clinton? <sighs> I think I know him. I hope you enjoyed the show, kids. Uh, I'll see you at lunch. The Real Teens Pittsburgh is made possible by our generous sponsors to value and trust a new generation of talent and to showcase the best of Pittsburgh. Thank you. Is this done yet? <sighs> Are you interested in filmmaking? <laughs> it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. That's funny. I've only all, only always. Yeah. The only thing I've ever wanted uh -huh. to do is, make, is train filmmakers. Uh -huh. That's all I've ever wanted to do is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jen, and Nick. Hi, Nick. And Brandon. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> nice. All right. Brandon is typically high. <laughs> Can we keep that in? <laughs> At CCAC, you can count on a quality education with a lot less debt. Did you know you can also break a leg, strike a chord, take things to the big screen, find new perspectives, or shape your future? CCAC's Arts and Humanities programs can help you prepare for a career that brings your creativity to life. Get creative. Get started at ccac.edu arts. Explore a world of music on WQED. Explore sweater sessions on WQED. Explore educational opportunities. Explore science. Explore early childhood learning. Explore Nebby on WQED. Explore the power of the arts. Explore Pittsburgh Eats. Explore diversity on WQED. Drives our teams to success. Every Saturday, JP Roofing Fan Nation celebrates Pittsburgh's fans. Your food, your fan caves, even your tattoos. Whatever it is that makes you a 412 fanatic. To be a part of the show, email us or go to the website. JP Roofing Fan Nation. Oh, I know my favorite show. I know you know your favorite show.
I'm Daisy. And I'm Frizzy. The 2021 Ellie's is starting right now. Woo! Welcome to our fifth Ellie Awards show where we celebrate you and the most dedicated filmmakers and film industry professionals that help shape indie film here in Pittsburgh. And we are so happy to be back here in WQED. We're still town first launch. For today's show, we got some amazing pieces by production companies, still town students, and teachers. Yeah, we have pieces produced by Vinegar Hill Films, mm. uh, Seneca Street Studios, LKF Entertainment Films, as well as CCAC, Dumpstar Media, and more. That's right. So, come on in. Y'all ready to get this show started? You ready, Dave? I sure am. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Steeltown was founded in 2003 to build an industry from scratch and keep young people in Pittsburgh and working. Almost 20 years later, we have an award-winning media program, Steeltown Film Academy, which has trained hundreds of high school students, winning both Emmys and international youth film festivals with their web series, The Real Teens Pittsburgh. We've helped produce more than 100 local independent films through the Film Factory and Steeltown Indie programs. We've invested more than $3 million in film and television projects in partnership with WQED. And we've produced one special film as a learning lab for Pittsburgh locals. The entertainment industry has a diversity problem, and Steeltown is closing the gaps. We are preparing the next generation of storytellers, and we aren't leaving anyone out. That means we are providing more opportunities for people from underrepresented communities to have their voices heard and their skills recognized. And we're closing the skill gaps with training programs like Steeltown Film Academy. We believe that a more equitable film and television industry creates more diverse characters and stories, and more importantly, provides inclusive opportunities behind the camera. Because of all this, new and exciting opportunities for independent filmmakers are on the horizon with better studio access, more robust fiscal sponsorship, and support opportunities, and networking, mentoring, and building a community to provide a place for emerging artists to grow their skills, tell their story, and fine-tune their craft. The Steeltown Academy will continue to be an award-winning youth media program that provides training, experience, and paid professional opportunities to high school students. Thank you for your support of Steeltown. It shows young people that their passion can be their profession. They can tell their stories and find a place in an industry that is just starting to break down barriers for marginalized communities. They know that they can be role models to future generations. And with your continued support today, Help us prove that for Pittsburgh filmmakers, the sky is truly the limit. And that right there is what Still Town's all about. That's our mission. That's what drives us. Yeah, and we couldn't get any of it done without any of our sponsors. From paying teaching artists to funding filmmakers, keeping the lights on. I mean, we gotta give them a big shout out. I mean, we have to. I mean, from all the things that you don't see, like the boom I'm looking at right now, the slower third that you can see right there, the tape that we stand on so we don't miss our marks, and those yellow signs we put around your neighborhood and lie about the title so you can't find the set. <laughs> it's great, that's what we do, but we hold it in our hearts. You know what I mean? And when we can't fit in our hearts, guess where we put it? in beds. <laughs> so thank you sponsors. We thank appreciate you, you guys. Love y'all. <laughs>
The Ellies, it's celebrating and preserving the legacy of Ellen Weiskander, turning her vision into boldly creating Steeltown back in 2003. All these years later, all who knew Ellen agree, she'd be proud of what Steeltown remains, an entertainment and educational force in Pittsburgh, developing diverse content creators, training, mentoring, networking, to build futures in the filmmaking industry. Ellen's legacy and vision is still alive at Steeltown. My mom would be, she would be thrilled to see it. And uh, I'm very thankful that Steeltown is still going strong. Going strong because of celebrating and supporting individual talent. Ellen Weiskander believes Steeltown could and should evolve. Those who were there at the founding of Steeltown remind us of Ellen's devotion to seeing value in every single individual. She lived for people every day. Ellen really had that ability to talk with you and to make you the most important person at that time. She was one of the purest people that I know and have known. One of the greatest things that Ellen did was understand you give to get. She is someone that can get beyond the immediate and see the greater and bigger picture. She was just so courageous. Every time there was an obstacle, it didn't even faze her that she had to get this done. It's really rare when someone is super smart, who has this sort of wonderful way of putting people at ease and making them feel like things can get done. How do you say, how do you say enough superlatives about her, you know? You can't because it's like the biggest, fattest loss on earth that she's not here. Ellen just grabbed you in. And once you were there, you knew that you were on to an exceptional journey. Steeltown and the Film Factory, for Ellen, I think, is an incredible legacy because here she can offer continually this support, this encouragement, this light, which is really what she was all about, just big old light to really shine it on these kids so they can shine it on themselves, on their creativity. Creativity that never would have come to light without Ellen's vision. And now we honor those who keep it going with the awards named for Ellen. The Ellies, given to those who inspire young people to fulfill their filmmaking dreams right here in Pittsburgh. Steeltown is definitely tied into her legacy. The work that they do specifically with giving you know, high school students opportunities to get behind a camera and see how, you know, how the movies are made and get involved in the industry. You know, her legacy of fostering growth for an opportunity for anyone and everyone. I think Ellen would be impressed with Steeltown and where we are today um, because we have kept that focus on the young people. We've continued to support them. And that, I, I think, was really where her heart was all along. And she knew that to build an industry, you had to start with the young people. And you had to make sure they had a place here. And they had a way and a pathway to, that, to a profession. That was Ellen and her desire to change the world and to definitely change Pittsburgh. Wow, that video is powerful. Absolutely. Wow, everything Ellen has done, every everything she's built here, right? And the creation of the Ellie Awards just being named after her in general. Her legacy will continue to live on. Yeah, and how beautiful it was to see that her son even produced that. So not only is she carrying it through to her, her family, but also to these students at Steeltown. Man, Jay did a great job. Well, speaking of future and her legacy, that's what we're here for, right? Mm -hmm. That's what the Ellie Awards is all about, celebrating the future. And the present is here now. So let's celebrate the graduating class of 2021 from Steeltown. Let's check it out. If I were to use one word to describe Steeltown, it would be talent. Exciting. Opportunity. Beneficial. Fun. Welcome. Hey. I've always been into film, but I was always very reserved, and I feel like since 
starting at Steel Town, I've come out of my shell and I definitely have a more clear idea of what I want to do in the film industry. Coming into Steel Town, I never really had a lot of hands-on experience. I took their six-week student program and then I moved on to an internship and now part of the film crew and I just haven't looked back since. You're handling a lot of expensive equipment and sometimes the stakes are high on projects, especially when there's clients involved. But I love that when I got there, we got to work. It forced me to get to know the teaching artists. You know, they come here and they teach us and then they also are making their own projects. They are always telling you to like, just go out there like you're a filmmaker, go make something. They trust you and know you understand this and want to help you move along in the industry. I felt very included and I learned a new vocabulary like things like uh, slate, white balance, pre-production, post-production and like everything in between. Now I can say there's a huge difference in what I know about the film industry. We've seen Steel Town grow into more of a community. Now there's kind of like another family feel to it. Almost all of my friends are from Steel Town. I actually made a really good friend out of just being in the program. It's just nice to have like a friend through this program who's interested in the same thing. And I really think that Steel Town is just such a loving and accommodating place. It is one of the best things that has helped me cope with everything going on. Steel Town has strengthened my connections in film just through networking. Giving us access to a bunch of different people. I think it's really cool getting to hear from, you know, people that have worked on well-known projects that we've all watched, like The Mandalorian. I was able to interview Kim Moses last week, who worked on Ghost Whisperer, and she's like huge for women in film. There's crew connects at Steel Town hosts that you can go to and you can pitch your own idea there. And so it builds connections way outside of Steel Town. Steel Town has definitely paved a path for my future because I know for a fact now that film is what I want to pursue in my career and in college. I was accepted into Loyola Marymount University. I'm like this close to committing to Florida State University. I am going to be attending Point Park University this coming fall. I also got accepted into Point Park. Without Steel Town, I don't know if I would have gotten into Point Park. And I'm just so excited to see what the future holds for me. Maybe I'm just weird, but like, I have a microphone here and I just want to, like, I'm like looking at it. I just want to, like, eat it. Like, have you ever wanted to, like, eat a, like, like one of those things they put in your face? I'm like, I like, I'm like, get that out of my face. Anyways, yeah. Wow. Man, congratulations to all of the Steel Town seniors. Man, a graduating so class. Amazing. That's what it's about right there. What you just saw is what all your donations, silent auction, everything, even you watching us right now, it all goes to benefit. That's right. I And I always say, I wish this program was around when I was a student. Right? So it's just it's so amazing to see the impact that it has made on these students. And now they want to actually pursue film. Right. It's, pretty it's amazing. cool, man. It's like watching a time machine. We are watching the future Oscar mm -hmm. winners, the future That's directors right. of the next generation. You guys did great. You guys did great. Gigi, by the way, wait, hold on. Let me. Can I eat? Can I eat this? <laughs> can I eat this? That's right. <laughs> Stay tuned. Congratulations, Max. Good luck at Florida State. We're really proud of you. Congratulations, Max. You got this. Congratulations, Max. We're proud of you. And Finn says congratulations, too. Congratulations, Constantine, on your senior year. We're so incredibly proud of you and all that you've accomplished during your high school years. And we're so happy that you've been able to participate in the Steel Town program and learn from such amazing staff and teachers and we just are continually amazed by your creativity 
and we look forward to seeing you succeed at Berkeley in your business and film majors. We love you. Congratulations, Constantine, on all your accomplishments at Steeltown and Upper St. Clair High School. Whatever you set your mind on, you can do it. You can be very successful in anything you choose. Best of luck at Berkeley and in all your future endeavors in school. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Love you. Seniors, congratulations on surviving this past year and the two to three years before this one. And it was a pleasure to work with all of you at Steeltown. If I can give you any wisdom as post-graduation looms ahead of you, it's to never be afraid to f*** up in brilliant and fantastic ways. Wallow in your failures and grow. Never let the fear of disappointment prevent you from trying. I look forward to your achievements and I will take the credit both good and bad. Till we meet again. Hey seniors. I hope this video finds you well. Um, I only have a few minutes, so I can't single out everybody, but I just wanted to tell you all that how proud I am uh, for just sticking through the program and just sticking with things in general, just grabbing life by the horns during a tough time and trying to make the best of not always the best situation. And that's incredible. And that resilience, that character, that you all demonstrated over the last year is going to serve you well in every walk of life for the rest of your life. There's nothing that you all can't do if, if you truly um, apply yourself, you truly want to do it. Every once in a while, somebody asks me what project I'm most proud of that I made and Honestly, the response I frequently give people is not necessarily a movie that I worked on, but what I'm most proud of is all of the students that I've been able to help, that I've helped pursue their dreams, I've helped get into school. That, to me, um, no movie can do that, but a teacher can. and. Um, that's why I keep doing it. it the, the opportunity to be able to help you all and know that you are doing something that you always wanted to do. And there's no greater feeling as you, as you move into adulthood, there's no greater feeling than being able to do what you love for a living. And I hope that whether it's filmmaking or something else, everybody has that opportunity. Just because you're done with the program doesn't mean it has to be completely over. Don't hesitate to email me. I'm always around. You know, you all know how to get a hold of me and do what I can to help. Hey, Constantine, Bailey, Miles, Max, Gigi, and Maddie. Congratulations on graduating from Steeltown and from high school. What a big deal this is for you all. You did it, you made it through some of the toughest times that we've all known in our uh, living lives. And you guys did it through your senior year of high school, which is pretty tough to survive as it is. So I really just wanna give you all some credit um, for sticking in there, for sticking with us and um, for really taking um, advantage of the opportunities that you have in front of you. You all have done amazing things. You should be really proud of yourselves. And you have so many promising years ahead of you. I know you guys are all gonna go on to do great things. I'm really proud of our entire uh, Steeltown Film Academy, all of our students, and especially our seniors this year. Um, for those who don't know, I am Mary Ann McBride Tackett. I'm the program director at Steeltown. Um, but one of those seniors means a little bit more to me, I have to say. I don't like to give preferential treatment to any of our students, but um, Maddie, you are mine. You are my baby. And um, 
you have given me the gift of being able to be your mother and um, I have given you um, the gift of having to call uh, your mom your boss too so you're welcome for that um, I really um, wouldn't be here I wouldn't be at this place in my life if it weren't for you and I just think that you are incredible and um, I am so happy to say that my um, my children are my best friends and um, you and I have gone through so much together and I feel like this is just the beginning. I'm so excited to see the things that you go on to do. Um, you have given me the gift of the most important job that I've ever had in my life and, and that is being your mom. So um, thank you and keep doing all the amazing things. Um, you're super badass and um, tough and independent and strong and i'm so so incredibly proud of the woman that you've become um i hope this makes you cry because that's what you try to do to me all the time so it's a little payback and for all of our seniors make sure you guys are keeping in touch you're now part of our indie community i can't wait to have you back and have you coming back to talk to the next group of students as they move through the program um, best of luck with everything and don't be strangers. Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer Taramina and I am an entertainment attorney working in New York City. But I'm from Pittsburgh and I am on the board for Steeltown Entertainment Project. And I'm here to talk to you guys about what Steeltown uh, has done for me what I think it can do for others, and why I think it is an invaluable program. I definitely did not ever see myself as a lawyer. That is for sure never something that crossed my mind, but um, it was through Steel Town that my little dream of working in the entertainment industry blew up and became this insane life I'm living now that I just never thought possible, but it was through Steeltown that all that began. I think what a lot of people don't realize is working in the entertainment industry isn't just working on Batman when they come to Pittsburgh. You can, um, but it's not just that. You can also do music videos and TV shows and pilots and commercials and all kinds of things. It was through Steeltown that I got to meet all these people, develop these relationships, prove myself, and then my career kind of took off. I'm somebody that came into Steel Town kind of just like looking around, see what it could be like. And then I was like, ooh, I kind of like it. It's kind of fun here. And then it turned into, oh cool, I could make money doing this stuff. And then, oh awesome, I'm, I'm working on a TV show right now. This is crazy to, yes, I'd be happy to take that job as a line producer. <laughs> to becoming a teaching artist and being able to kind of like give that back and help other people to now having relationships with people that I never would have otherwise. We have received over the years so many emails, letters, face-to-face -face encounters with people who have said that Steel Town saved their child's lives. And that I'm not, that's not an exaggeration. We have all seen at least one of those. I've had students come and tell me that me reaching out to them and kind of pushing them to join Steel Town made a tremendous impact in their lives. Being there for us, being there for Steel Town is really just being there for the youth, young adults, and entertainment industry in Pittsburgh. I mean, it's just, it's a no-brainer. We're standing here at the Lamont at one of the most amazing views of the city of Pittsburgh. Man, this has to be the best city skyline in the world. It sure is, and it's places like these that make Pittsburgh an incredible place to live and create some incredible content. You know what's cool is this place is not only a dope spot for your family and your friends, the Lamont is also a sponsor of Steel Town. Oh, that's right. So <laughs> let's give a big shout out to all of our sponsors for today's show. And we're gonna to talk to some other filmmakers to see what they think about having Pittsburgh as their backlog. Yes, sir.
Mulligan is Pittsburgh. You'll see from the sweeping views of our gorgeous skyline to local favorites like Scally's Golf and Bardo's Lounge in Coriopolis, every shot shows off the best of the Berg. And virtually every actor and all the background actors are Pittsburgh's best. And of course, we had the hardest working, most incredible crew of any city anywhere. And we're lucky to say they all call Pittsburgh home. Mulligan highlights Pittsburgh in every conceivable way. Pittsburgh is baked into the DNA of every frame. The stories, the characters, the language, the wardrobe, and every single location feature the city to its fullest and tell some stories that we really haven't heard yet. We took great care to not only show the city's singular beauty, but also its grit, which in itself is one of the things that makes Pittsburgh so unique. It was important to me that Mulligan take place in Pittsburgh because as I do projects for the art side of things rather than strictly for the money, I want to work on projects set in and filmed in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh as a city has so many sides to it, both good and bad, that have not really been explored fully in film. There are so many interesting stories here to tell. And as far as filming it here, even though I work on projects all the time that aren't shot in the scripted locations, it is always best artistically to shoot projects where they are scripted, if possible. <laughs> Rather than just intercutting a few establishing shots with generic locations, if you shoot where scenes are scripted, the location is seen and felt in every last detail, making for a much richer, grounded experience. Also, if I'm going to work on a passion project, I want to work with my friends and co-workers and give them a chance to fully use their artistic powers and see their talents shine. I've worked on many, many projects of all sizes over 30 years, and the passion of everyone, cast and crew, to this project was unique. The passion of Patrick and Carrie and the cast to tell a compelling, at times funny, at times heart-wrenching story as best they could, and the passion of the crew to visualize that script in the absolute best way was obvious. And there is Steel Town, an organization that helps people learn about film and transition into paying work in the industry. There are also constantly evolving platforms for fresh voices to share their work. The future of filmmaking in Pittsburgh looks very, very bright. We all know what an impact Mulligan made on our community by employing local filmmakers, crew, even using local talent, and of course featuring all of the Pittsburgh locations that are very important to all of us Pittsburghers. So we are pleased to present the Impact Award to the pilot Mulligan. My name is Patrick Cannon and I wrote and played Jack in the pilot for Mulligan. This award uh, from Steeltown truly means the world and I'm honored to be one of the folks to accept the award, the award on behalf of our kind and talented team. Now, the last year has been a scary and trying time but I have a lot of hope for the future, knowing uh, how enriched our community is by organizations like Steel Town. We thank you for your commitment to our community and for empowering this next generation of filmmakers. I can't wait to watch your movies. Uh, now, if I may, I would be delighted to chip it over to our brilliant director, Steve Paris. Aren't you supposed to say four or something? Anyway, I'm Steve Paris, so everyone calls me Steve-O, and I'm the director of Mulligan. And I wanted to thank all the cast and crew, most especially Patrick, who created and starred in the show, and Carrie, our producer, for allowing me to be a part of what turned out to be the best creative experience of my 30 years in the business. If you haven't seen the show yet, check it out on Amazon Prime. And thanks to everyone at Steel Town for the Indie Award. It really does mean a lot, and I'm very grateful both for the award and everything else they do. So, over to Carrie. Heads up. Thanks, Steve-O. Hi, I'm Caroline Collins, and I produced Mulligan along with Ashley Kate Adams, Laurie Christensen, and Jim Kirstead, our executive producer. And of course, none of this would have come to life without Mulligan's creator, Patrick Cannon. I am so incredibly proud to be a part of this amazing team. I loved going to set every day and working with our exceptional cast and crew, headed by the only guy I know who absolutely everybody wants to work with, myself included, Steve Paris. 
This cast, this crew, everybody put their whole heart and soul into this project, and we're all so proud of what we accomplished together. So we are exceptionally proud and thrilled to be given the Indie Award from Steel Town. So Team Steel Town, thank you so very much for this. And thank you all for watching tonight. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Ellie's. I think I'm going to keep this. No, I think I'm going to take it back to Scally's because I am pretty sure we stole it from them. Sorry, Scally's. The Film Pittsburgh team wishes to congratulate the entire cast and crew of Mulligan, especially Caroline Collins, our very own associate director. Congratulations, Carrie. Congrats, Carrie. Congratulations, Carrie. Congratulations, Carrie. Love you, Carrie. All right, so for all of my VIP people out there, I know you guys are building your charcuterie boards, so be sure to show us your pictures. And all you gotta do is put hashtag show us your charcuterie for a chance to win some really fun charcuterie board earrings. How about that? So be sure to send us those pics. Are you looking for something to love? Then look no further than the Steel Town Entertainment Project. A Pittsburgh nonprofit filmmaking organization. Steel Town engages with people just like you to help build a stronger independent film community, something no independent filmmaker should be without. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear it from real Steel Town affiliates. I used to be pitifully sad and lonely. No friends, no crew, no fun. Just a dead pixel on a bright screen, ready to call it a wrap. Steel Town answered my prayers. They host these amazing events called Crew Connects. <laughs> no, it's not a dating app. It's an opportunity to meet other filmmakers, producers, actors, real people in the community. Now, I've been added to Steel Town's crew referral that's working on paid gig with amazing people. I'm even applying for the official sponsorship program. That means access to grant opportunities to fund my own projects. Best of all, I'm no longer lonely and sad. Steel Town. The old me was stuck at a dead end job. After 30 years, I realized there's just no future in rock farming. But changing careers is hard, just like the rocks. So when I heard about Steel Town workshops and learning lab, I was sold. Steel Town provides educational opportunities for people interested in the digital media industry. And now I have so many career options. And this field is fun. I'll never go back to rock farming. Steel Town. I'm Cash. I like bullying weaklings and I hate my mom and dad. Littering is fun. My favorite movie is Shrek 2. Sheesh. Steel Town's youth media program changed my whole young life. Now I have refined taste, a portfolio, and a scholarship. I never knew I had so much potential. And I owe it all to Steel Town. Well, time to help mom set the table. It's pot roast night. Steel Town Entertainment Project is more than a filmmaking organization. It's a pathway to Pittsburgh's independent filmmaking community. Did we mention Steel Town has paid employment opportunities for high schoolers? Not one, but two YouTube channels of in-house productions, award-winning youth films, and more? Want an internship? Join Steel Town! Steel Town also collaborates with local arts and educational institutions. Steel Town has it all! And that's why I love Steel Town. That's why I love Steel Town. And that's why I love Steel Town. That's why I love Steel Town. So much talent in the bird, so many people excited to make it happen. We both grew up in East Liberty. And we went from playing in the super playground to playing on sets. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the there you go. It's, it's wild, man. And now it's like watching trailers and seeing trailers here in the city. I even remember, too, just being in film school, and there wasn't very many TV shows, films being filmed here, and now it's just blown up. And so the recipient of this year's Legacy Award made it his mission to help educate future filmmakers and crew people yeah. to make this steel town a film town. Man, that's crazy, man. Well, let's check in with President Bullock of CCAC to see how he's seen Steel Town transform throughout the year. Hard work, dedication, 
and professionalism have all been key to Pittsburgh's thriving and evolving film industry. At both Steeltown and CCAC continue to play a major role by providing a reliable pipeline of highly trained professionals ready to contribute their diverse skill sets to this growing career field. In his long and distinguished career as an educator and active supporter of the region's film industry, George Jaber has been instrumental in Pittsburgh's transformation into a highly sought after filming location. As both professor and head of CCAC's theater department, he has educated and mentored thousands of students since he first started teaching at the college back in 1982. In addition to providing students with a solid foundation of knowledge in theater, George has taught students how to perform all of the essential roles behind the scenes. With his support and encouragement, many students have gone on to find success in the industry, with some securing work in other filming hotspots around the country. George spent many years as an active leader of International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, Studio Mechanics, Local Number 489. He has worked on building sets for nearly 40 films, including The Mothman, Prophecies, Wonder Boys, The Door Calf. He would routinely salvage used scenery from movie sets for use in CCAC's own productions, which included an acclaimed run of August Wilson's Fences in 2016 to celebrate the college's 50th anniversary. George's energy and enthusiasm are legendary and his dedication to his craft and passion for teaching have fostered a deep appreciation of the arts, enabling thousands of students to follow their dreams. His influence is everywhere, through the students he taught who are now teaching others, through those working in the industry, and through those contributing to the region's vitality by supporting both stage and screen. A hero among heroes, George has created a lasting legacy. His is a star that will burn bright for many years to come. On behalf of everyone at the Community College of Allegheny County, including all of the students who have had the benefit of his instruction and guidance through the years, it is an honor to recognize a most worthy recipient of the 2021 Ellie Legacy Award. CCA's own George Jaber, congratulations. The sky's the limit. Here is our 2021 Legacy Award winner, George Jaber. Hi, Christian. Hey, George. Good to see you. Good to see you. Do you have anything for me today? Yes. My new film equipment. Wow, I would love to work with that. You can work with that. Come down to the film program and get involved. You know my address. Wow, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> well, here you go. Have a great day. You too. Hey, George. Stuff sure looks like a monster out of a movie, huh? Monster Mash. Hey, Mallory, why don't you come get involved in our film technician program? Absolutely. You'd be great. Let's go. Oh, right now in the middle of my shift? Oh, oh, okay, I'll go. That is not nice. <sighs> you know, you shouldn't have to work so hard here in front of the movie. Why don't you come over to my film training program and learn how to work behind the camera? I'd love that. I would love for you to be involved, Dom. You get in touch with me. You know where I am. Will do, George. Just as soon as I'm done cleaning this up. Everything fitting all right in there, George? This, this shirt is a great fit. You know what else is a great fit? Come on, you know. What do you think? Is it being a great filmmaker? You got it, kid. Let's go. Oh, 
Are you interested in filmmaking? <sighs> it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. That's funny. That's all I've ever wanted to do was train filmmakers. Come on, I'll introduce you. This is Courtney and Kevin and Jen. You see, here we have a cardboard box. Inside of the cardboard box, more cardboard. Hey, George. <laughs> like like what wife. do you think? I think that it's amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. Another 40 years? At least. Monster Mash! Monster Mash! Monster Mash! I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations, George. Yeah. We're very proud of you. We love you. We love you, Dad. You're very deserving of the Ellie Award. Congratulations. Congratulations. For all the students, you've given hope, challenges, confidence, and opportunity. Congratulations. We love you. Now, now get back to work. <laughs> Hi, George. I am so delighted to have the opportunity to congratulate you on receiving the Ellie Award. That is so outstanding, and I am very proud of you. From the moment that I arrived at CCAC over 13 years ago um, to this moment, you have shown me nothing but grace and kindness. Um, you were the very first faculty member that I met um, and when I arrived at CCAC. I wondered if you had stationed yourself in the hallway waiting for me at the front door um, so that you could welcome me to CCAC because you literally were the first faculty member that I met. And over the years, just watching you teach students and produce plays and um, make sure that we had what we needed in terms of the arts at, at the college has just amazed me. Um, the people whose lives you've touched, they've gone on to do great things um, and not necessarily be in theater, which is pretty um, remarkable and wonderful. That's the sign of a true teacher who is um, dedicated to making sure that our students go on to be successful. I am blessed by your presence, um, your support, and I just love the fact that you're being recognized by people in the field. Congratulations on this award. I am so delighted, and I look forward to seeing you post-COVID. Wonder if you're still going to have that beard. So you take care. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. We love you. Um, keep the good work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 and for the big reveal, we're excited to announce that Steel Town is going to be the newest addition to the neighborhood. We will be moving into WQED the summer of 2021. We're so excited to be the newest neighbors. Hi, Gina. Hi, Marianne. Welcome to your new home and to our neighborhood. Thank you so much. We are so excited to be here. Well, we're thrilled to have you. I am really looking forward to hearing about some of the things that you are planning to do in this new home. Can you share some of your ideas? Absolutely. So we are going to be living here. We'll be part of the patchwork that makes up this quilt that is QED. We're really excited to be a part of it. And we'll be hosting our Steeltown Film Academy here. We'll be offering resources for filmmakers so that they have um, 
opportunities to come and use the facilities. We have lots of plans in the future. I hope to host um, different events for uh, the community, uh, opportunities for students to really take advantage of the facilities and uh, just get a better, deeper understanding of how production works because we're going to be in a real live studio that is not just any old studio. This is a historical place and a, a real integral part of Pittsburgh's history. Yeah. We are the first community-based public television station in the country and so I think it's so inspiring that community is coming together in this space. Most people, when they think of WQED, think of us um, as media makers, right? We are local production and they watch what we produce. What you're bringing to the table is the ability for people to join in that production space and be tellers of their own stories and really create important media. And so that, to me, is such a gift. Yeah, I, I think that you said the magic word there, and that's community. Steeltown is all about community. We are here to support, to educate, to grow the filmmaking community. So the fact that this is a literal historical landmark for something like that on a national level, it just couldn't be a more perfect fit. It's such a great place for us to start calling home. I think this is the start of something good. Absolutely. All right. Would you like to take a walk back and check out your new house? Yes, please. Yay. So exciting. That right there is a wrap on the 2021 Ellie Awards. That's right. As we enter in the next decade of indie filmmaking, we've got so many more exciting things planned. We're so excited about it. Man, and as the industry evolves, we look to completely transform filmmaking here in Pittsburgh. All the people and companies we highlighted will definitely be part of that transformation. That's right. And I know that all of you guys who donated, thank you so much because that's helping to make it a big part of our mission here and our vision. And listen, we celebrated our mission. We celebrated and checked on seeing how former students have thrived. We've checked out and shouted out new board members. We even looked at the top indie production companies and celebrated the great George Japer. Wow, crazy night. Oh, so <laughs> many great things going on. We're so excited about it in this entertainment industry in Pittsburgh. It's thriving and there's way more to come. Yeah, man. So also, and speaking of way more to come, yeah. if you donate it, then you actually get access to our live after party with this guy, Frizzy. Oh yeah, wait, wait, that's in two minutes? Yeah. Oh, let me, oh. Let me go handle that real quick. You, you need to you go. Got this, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you all again for such a great evening and for all of you that donated. This has definitely been a very special night. And again, don't forget that if you donated, you get to join us for the after party with Frizzy. So. Thanks again so much for everything and we hope you guys have a great night.